Hello, and welcome to our next um, presentation covering the Altest Pro online software. In this case, we're going to cover some special database and trending features that um, uh, can be very helpful in analyzing large groups of data. So uh, let's go ahead and start with the first thing for looking at individual data. We can go ahead and switch on the display. And if we come in and we look at data inside uh, uh, the um, database, we can take a look and it will provide us the information that is there. For instance, in this case, this one tested uh, OK. Um, we had 1,000 horsepower, 885 RPM, 2,500 volts, 236 amps. If we click on the next one, which was performed uh, later, we can take a look and we see this one is now showing suspicious operation. So that's one step we can take. Another, um, another bit of information we can do is by clicking on this database here or this group of motors. Okay, so we're clicking on the upper part of the hierarchy. Uh, we can now close out of this, and now we can go up and we take, can take a look at a database. Now, we can erase the database each time that we want to search through. So if we're doing groups of uh, machines uh, for different companies or different areas within the plant, we can delete and then restart it each time. So what we're going to end up doing is rebuilding the database specifically for that location. See all the results were showing up. Okay, so now we have all of the information we have uh, for that machine. And you can see here that as we go through, oh, well, look, there's one with slight static eccentricity. Uh, looks good, good, good. Static eccentricity, uh, state of mechanical. So these are all the notes associated with that. So if we want to come back here, we can filter uh, for this entire group. Or we can come through and we can take a look at variations that have occurred uh, within that uh, machine. Now this can be things like running speed, um, average power factor, uh, running current, uh, running voltage, line frequency, uh, rotor bar health. So there's a couple there that are showing issues. Any type of severity associated with rotor bars and so on. And this will help us uh, work in for the area that we're, uh, we're interested in. So basically we have some trending capabilities. We can also select by test date, of course, so we can identify the particular machines uh, that we're looking for. So in any case, um, this gives us uh, an ability to do some level of trending. This can be done on individual motors or groups of motors that have been tested. Thank you very much.